Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be soloing over chord progression of C major 7, F major 7, D minor 7, and G. I'll be showing you um, several riffs that you can play over this backing track. You can put them together if you like to make up a solo for yourself. And this backing track is also available on my channel under the backing track playlist. All right, here we go with riff one. string we are going to slide from seven to nine use your third finger here and you're going to grab the eighth fret of the b string with your second finger back to nine of the g do that two times so after you do that two times you're going to play seven five on the g okay you're going to have You're going to grab that 7 again after you come back from the 5 here. So. Once you do that 7, you're going to hit that 7, slide to 9, and go back to 5. Okay, so all together. fourth string your D string you're gonna play a hammer on from five to seven and you're gonna play three notes in the five after that so five hammer on the seven you play five seven five seven on the G slide to nine after you do the slide on uh, five to nine, or sorry, five to seven, slide to nine on the G. You grab two uh, fives on the G here, so. Okay, so all together you have your five to seven hammer on on the D. To three fives, okay, so five, hammer on the seven, three fives. Five, seven, five, Seven, slide to nine, five, five. Starts on your fifth fret of your third string, your G string here. Play two fives. You're gonna do pull off here from seven to five on the D. You do that two times. So it's pull off, pull off. And then you're gonna grab. 
grab the seven on the A there. After you grab the seven on the A, you're just going to go five, seven on the D. So all together, you have your two fives on your G. Two pull-offs here. Grab the seven up here. So you're doing pull-offs here on the D string from seven to five. Two of them. Grab the seven on the A, and then the five, seven on the D. So all together. We're going to build a few riffs on the second part of this backing track where we go into the D minor section. G, C major 7, F major 7, D minor 7, G major, C major 7, and F major 7. Start on your B string. You'll go from eight to ten hammer on. Back to eight. You're gonna play nine on the G back to eight there, okay, on the B. So all together so far. You're gonna play nine seven on the G. Then you do a hammer on back to nine. Okay, so all together so far, we have eight, hammer on the 10 on the B. We have eight, nine, eight here. Then we have nine, seven, nine, slide to 12, back to nine. Okay, and then on the same string here, on the third string, you're gonna go from seven, slide to nine, to five. Okay, so all together. You're going to do a full bend on your 8th fret of your B string here. You're going to hold that up. You're going to hit it and release it back down. And then you're going to play 6-5, six, 6-5 five, six, five on your B. You can do the same thing with the 7-5 on the G. Full bend on eight on the B. Release back down to eight. Six, five, six, five on the B. And seven, five, seven, five on the G.
uh, will be on our G string. We're going to play 5-4 on the G up to 5 on the D here. We'll do that two times. Then 4-5 on the G. Slide up to 10 on the G, okay? And then pull off to 9 on the G. After you do that, slide to 10, pull off to 9, okay? And then grab 10 on D. Okay, so we have 5, 4 on G, to 5 on D. Again, 5, 4 on G, to 5 on D. Then 4, 5 on G. Slide to 10, pull off to 9, and then grab 10 on the D. So all together. Friends, uh, I have this backing track posted already, so if you'd like to take some of those ideas and apply them to the backing track, and maybe make up some of your own ideas. Thanks guys, and have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.